Half of Titan's devs are really testing how fast I can cover their dev blogs. And I can safely say, if you were to make a video similar to this, you would probably beat me and get it out before me anyways. Anyways, Path of Titans has a new development update available and well of course I am here to cover everything you need to know about this new development update. And as always, I just want to say 67% of you guys watching this video are not subscribed to the channel. And of course, if you want to subscribe, please do. Let's get right into the video. So, firstly, I just want to say some news about the pre-release of the game. This has been delayed. This is probably the biggest announcement in this development update and that's why it is first. But essentially, one of the developers was diagnosed with that nasty disease that is going around at the moment. But essentially, he's pulling through, he's doing fine in his health. But obviously, this has resulted in a setback for the development of the game. Of course, I wish the developers the best and speedy recovery. In fact, everyone watching this video, let's leave a comment on the video wishing him the best of luck and of course in his recovery the best health maybe that will cheer him up anyways as the path of titans team is very small this would obviously affect the development process of the game and it has this means that the pre-release date has been delayed the devs have not said a new date yet this will probably be mentioned or they're just working towards their own date and it will be announced closer to the old pre-release date we don't know yet. Anyways, I do wish him the best in his recovery. Let's all show him the love that he needs right now. Like I said, hopefully we can put a smile on his face. Next up, we have some updates to the skins on the dinosaurs. So, there have been some major bugs with the skins on the dinosaurs. In fact, most dinosaur skins have been plagued with this same bug currently. You may be wondering, what is this bug? Well, this bug essentially makes the skins darker than they actually are. It gets rid of the vibrant colours and make it look muddier or duller compared to the other skins in the game. Obviously, this makes you not want to pick them because you want to pick a skin that has a bit of vibrance in it and colours that add vibrance to the skin as well when you're choosing colours. Of course, the devs have noted this and they have fixed it. They have fixed the issues with the skins and hopefully this solves most of the problems with the skins at the moment. Of course, I'm pretty sure this bug was with the Suko Mimus backer skin, because to me that felt a little bit dull, but now it's a little bit better, which is great. Anyways, the changes and updates to these skins means that this problem is removed, so your skins will look as fantastic as ever, and you'll be able to see the detail and specific colour on these skins once again, bringing back the vibrance to the once accidental dull skin. One of the funner things that has been updated to the game and added to the game this week is the addition of meat chunks to the game. Now I say it's fun because well if you look at this meme that was posted on Jin's channel, well I'm gonna play it for you anyways. Of course, that was more of a bug over anything, but I mean, it's still quite funny to think of it. Anyways, you can pick up meat chunks now from dinosaurs which you have killed and the corpses which will be around the map. And you have heard me correct, there are corpses around the map which has just been added to the game, which means you guys as carnivores don't have to starve or fight other dinosaurs to survive. You can now maybe find a corpse on your journey and then of course eat from it and then you'll maybe take some meat chunks. Anyways, the meat chunk system is very good if you want to go on an adventure and you want to carry some meat around with you as well. However, herbivores can also carry these meat chunks as well, but they cannot consume them. This, I assume, will be tied to quests in the future, but I guess if you're the only carnivore and all your friends in your squad are herbivores, they can be your dino slaves and they can carry meat chunks around for you as long as, you know, they agree to do that because they probably won't if you just say, please carry meat for me. To add to this, the meat that has been added and the meat that you can carry around also rots over time, starting a bright red colour and going darker and greyer over time. The darker it is, the more rotten it is. Now, I'm not ent entirely sure what this is going to do in the future. I have a feeling that maybe once you eat rotten food in the future, it could poison you, which I think will be a cool idea. But yeah, I assume the devs will add something about this. I'm not entirely sure. Matt, I know you're probably watching this video to see if I've stepped out the line as always, but please let me know if I'm right. So, the next dinosaur to plague Path of Titans is 
the playable Ceratosaurus, a mid-sized carnivorous dinosaur is the next playable dinosaur that everyone is playing currently in the demo. And I must say, I was not expecting Ceratosaurus to come out now. I was expecting a new dinosaur soon, but definitely not now. It kind of was just sprung upon us. Ceratosaurus' stats are not finalised, but as I am recording this video, its current stats make the dinosaur pretty overpowered. So I am expecting a nerf to it in the future, maybe soon, I'm not too sure. Being able to fairly quickly kill other dinosaurs with a decent amount of stamina, with it just being less than concavenators, this dinosaur can easily keep up with herbivores and other dinosaurs during fight. And also, the servers are full of them. Talon's Point is full of Ceratosaurus players, and whenever a concavenator comes nearby, they literally just swarm it and kill it instantly, which is quite funny actually. Ceratosaurus has a vast amount of skins, and some of them do look rather incredible. The dev blog also also states that a new dinosaur will be coming soon. What do you guys think it is? I have a feeling it's a Stegosaur. I think it's going to be Kentrosaurus because, you know, we're not going to have Stegosaurus in the game yet, but I'm expecting Kentrosaurus because they need to test out Stegosaurus fighting and stuff and their playability in game. But what do you guys think? Anyways, guys, that's all for now. This was a Path of Titans video. Next week, I've got quite a few World of Tanks videos lined up. I've got one on Wednesday, one on Monday, and I have another video for Friday that isn't going to be World of Tanks. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Maybe by now, if we are at 2,000 subscribers, thank you all so much. I know we hit it on Wednesday but dip down a little bit again. But yeah, thank you all so much. I appreciate the support. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.